So Lois approached me because I'm one of the assistant coaches for the under 19s. Um, something I've done an awful lot over the years for Leeds Rhinos Club for men's and women's is run just a military style days like this and she sees it as a p real purpose so she just asked me to put it on again. Yeah, so they've come down, they've been, they've got changed into military attire, they've done a, a round robin of command tasks uh, and then we've got moved on to a PT style, uh, military st style PT where they've done t tug of war, uh, casualty drags, carries and then we've had them on a team uh, run about three miles out in the wood line. We've always had a really strong connection with the Army ever since uh, we formed the women's team in, in 2018 um, and this is the first time we've done it for our, our junior side, so the 16s and 19s and I think it's really good for them to, to sort of come out of the shell in team building. We've already seen this morning that some of the girls who are maybe quieter at training have been really loud in the command tasks and are finding the feet a little bit so I think that there's a lot of similarities between the Army and playing rugby league at high level. Um, you know, the discipline, the commitment, the hard work, the teamwork. Um, and the teamwork being a massive one, you know, they've been told today that everything they do, they do it together. Um, so it's a real good link that we've always had. I think that it still has a lot of, of values that are important to rugby as well as being within the military. Um, but also for us, it's great today that we've got the women's players as well. We've got five women's players all um, leading on the, the section commands and making sure that, the, you know, putting the girls through the paces today. And we're dead proud of the, the women that we've got within our team or have been in our team from the forces. Obviously do a really, really good job and I think that definitely some of the attributes that they've picked up through training and their life within um, the military has made them the players that they are. They've just put themselves out there and they're more than happy to come and help out with, with the team. So I just think it showed that, that team Rhino's ethos that we're, we're looking to strive and create and, and keep keep doing throughout the year. So, you know, the, the girls will learn a lot from them as players. They'll be inspired by them playing in the, in the first team because that's ultimately what all the girls in the 16s and the 19s uh, are looking to do, wanting to strive to do. So it's nice for them to just get to some, spend some time with the girls that they usually see playing on the field as well. Yeah, so today we've got a, like a multitude of activities, um, a few command tasks to start off with, um, rearing from like a blindfolded little um, assault uh, uh, obs course type thing, um, sort of capture the flag we're going for over here. There's a few different things like getting the brain, brain thinking, a bit more communication, a bit of teamwork, um, and then they'll go into a sort of team run, uh, similar to what we've probably done with the senior teams, um, with a bit of the rope, but um, with a sort of military twist, I guess. So this one we're going to break into pairs. Um, for our, one will be blindfolded and the other's then got to coordinate them around the um, obstacles, obviously avoiding anything that's set out. Um, and then they're going to hopefully capture the flag, first pair will capture the flag, return back, and then we'll do it as a bit of a race. Very hard work, it, like very difficult, but it's been fun. Yeah, it was very enjoyable for us all. We all had a good time. Very challenging. Like, I feel like we, none of us could properly get it right, so we got, kept getting punished, but we got there in the end. It all revolved around like communication and like listening and teamwork with us all. Like all the activities that we did, um, we had to communicate to finish the task. You, you like had to think outside of the box as well. Like that was like a main part of it as well. Uh, I think it's going to be really good for definitely team cohesion. I think when it's tough, especially in the military, nine out of ten, it's tough. So you tend to rely on your team a lot more. Um, so I think that will develop that sort of team cohesion and people will start to really hone in on their strengths and weaknesses and then hopefully come together as a team and, and really strive off that. Whilst pushing themselves individually, I think they come, across, uh, come together um, quite well um, and just learn a little bit about each other and how far they can push each other as a team. And um, it probably brings people out of their comfort zones but also projects people forward in the team. You, you see it on the command uh, task to start with, people who are not very confident but... Um, understand how the command task needs to be executed uh, within a couple of minutes they're already projecting their thoughts through and people are listening and getting through it and uh, working as a team and that's what it's designed to do. Yeah like I say I think it's nice to, to see those people who are putting themselves out of the comfort zone you, le you learn a lot looking at people doing things like this so you know there's people that will come to the front in command tasks who might struggle later on in the day in the more um, you know the stuff that they do that's going to you know be tough but it, it's good to see how they're all doing it together as a team that you know the the big thing with the 16s and 19s is that they all come from different community clubs, different backgrounds, so getting them to mix in with, with different people and, and get a little bit closer connected is, is the big thing from today. I'd say the one where the barrel were filled with water and you had to have like four ropes and you had to pick it outside of the like a circle of cones, that was most difficult. Yeah, I'd say that one as well, even though all of them said that that was the most simplest one. We it really was None of us could do it. <laughs> I learnt how to jump in a tyre. <laughs> if that's a new skill for you. Um, like, better communication skills and teamwork and leadership skills were all 
been improved today by yeah. all of us. Uh, I feel like we're going to be more communicating and stuff and get along with more of the players that have just come up into the 16s with us. The teamwork as well will also help us in training. Um, I think that that team cohesion thing and knowing how to manage your emotions and your feelings when it gets tough, I think that that's probably something that we uh, sort of is bred into us in the military is that like things aren't always easy. Life doesn't just come with with fairies, you know. So um, I think that that so plays a massive part in the uh, in the rugby because um, not every game is going to be fantastic, not every training session is going to be fantastic, and learn to sort of manage that and manage your expectations and deal with it appropriately. Oh, I, I think the values, the discipline, the determination, the courage, um, the communication, but also listening as well. I will be very glad to go back to normal rugby league training because that was torture. <laughs> <laughs> I think it would be good to do both, like, a week because obviously the, at Leeds right now it's more tactical training but here it's more teamwork and communication skills training. It's just good all round for a load of different reasons but it's um, been really good this year to do it with our, our junior teams as well as we've done it with our first team before.